Keep up to date everywhere. News Talk 820 WBAP. Prince Fielder's kids and my ki- one, my daughter have a connection with a tutor. And 10 days ago, we were talking to the tutor, and, and, and uh, she said, this this injury is really serious for Prince Fielder. And I was like, oh, well, I hope he come, comes back. We find out yesterday that he's not going to. Uh, and uh, this is kind of a career ending thing. Dr. Uh, Pablo Ceballos joins us right now from uh, Spine Dallas to give us some details on this. Dr. Ceballos, this is one of those, a neck injury in baseball. I mean, in football, we think about it, we hear about it. But we don't consider these to be career ending. What's happening here with Prince? Yeah, it's interesting because in baseball, if you actually think about it, you know, they actually don't even order MRIs of the neck. Usually for baseball, they'll do of the shoulder, they'll do of the elbow. And so for this career ending injury, obviously he's got to have a lot more of a of pathology occurring in his neck, a lot more degeneration of the disc, of the arthritis. And I think that's probably what's going on. It's kind of a safety issue for him, I think, long term. You know, it's, it's interesting you say that. Ken Ro- Rosenthal, who broke this story with Fox Sports, uh, is reporting this morning, listen, he's not retiring. He's medically disabled, and doctors won't clear him, uh, which is a, a, a little different spin on it. That's exactly correct. And the thing about it is, obviously, I'm not, a tre- I'm not his treating physician, so I don't know the, the entire uh, history behind it. But we know based on uh, neck surgeries, if you have one level of neck surgery, usually that's pretty good because then you can still kind of rotate your head, you can turn your head, you can do certain things. But once you do another level above or below, then you have decreased range of motion, decreased able to turn your head either way. And then also, if you're you're a much higher risk of injury if you get hit with a baseball or if you're trying to you know hit those balls, all those factors can actually contribute to that uh, basically medically disabled. Hey, do, is this commonplace in baseball? I mean, do we see this often? No, you actually do not see that much. However, certain factors can play into it. Um, he's uh, obviously a little bit larger than, than most baseball players, and so that can actually um, affect that, uh, the discs over a prolonged period of time. So the heavier you are, the more uh, disc pressure. Number one. Number two is if you actually look at the way he hits, the way his torque is in his whole body with his neck, it, it actually puts a lot more strain in his neck than some of the other players. Uh, that's another factor. And number three is it's another factor that you may not be aware of. He may have this uh, kind of a genetic factor. He may have a history hmm. of uh, degenerative disease disease. Uh, his parents may have had it, his grandparents. And so a lot of the disc degeneration that we see on anybody, a lot of it is genetic. And so if he already has that kind of a, a predisposition for that in conjunction with his weight, in conjunction with his uh, sports, his torque, all that can contribute to that. Hey, hey, by the way, when we wake up in the morning with a cramp in our neck or things like that, we, we just kind of write it off and assume it's going to go away after a day. But are, are there some things that are scary that we should be concerned about when that happens? No, no doubt about that. I, I always tell this to all my patients. 80 to 90 percent of neck pain or low back pain will resolve by itself within one to two weeks without doing anything. No chiropractic, no medication, nothing, usually by itself. However, the times that we should always be aware of is if you start having this numbness going down your arms. Mm-hmm. If you start having numbness going down to your fingers, your elbow, your arm, um, that's kind of worrisome. If you start noticing that you're starting to have some weakness in his hands, those are the concerns. And I think that's the biggest concern with a uh, with the baseball player with Prince Fielder is that, you know, if you start having some of that sensation where you don't feel things, you can't grip the bat as well, and you start having some weakness, those are things that can obviously uh, impair his, you know, his baseball playing days. No doubt about that. All right, Dr. Pablo Ceballos with uh, Spine Dallas. Appreciate the insight.